Good evening, folks. We shared this story in the morning news, and we mentioned that it puts the final nail in the coffin, finally debunks one of the very last semi-reasonable excuses that is being given for why you should not be concerned about the changes in Earth's magnetic field. Now, I asked a bunch of you to put it in the comments, see if you know why. We're going to watch a video from a couple of years ago and then come back, wrap it up. Hopefully, you all got the right answer. Here's the video from a couple years ago. See you in five minutes. Good evening, folks. We'll do two things in this video. Dive a bit deeper into the importance of this morning's top story on the sea turtles and review why the ongoing attempts to quell fear about the ongoing magnetic pole shift of Earth are very false and that it is in fact a big concern. First, year over year we are seeing more and more unusual mortality events in the animal kingdom. While a couple can be pegged to shipping vessel interactions, the biggest and most widespread ones are almost always unresolved mysteries in terms of the cause. However, one thing those officials never look at is the magnetic field changes of Earth and what role those might be playing. It's remarkable how well that would explain so many of these events, because as we went over in our most recent book, it's not just animal migration, foraging, hunting, reproductive activities, even storm pattern recognition, all partially tied to magnetic sense. Now, when it comes to the turtles, the fact that scientists, quote, can't figure this one out is just so pitiful. Loggerheads are one of the species best known for using magnetic field for navigation, especially those in the Gulf of Mexico, along which this most recent event is taking place. They home in on the North Magnetic Pole, which is moving from its former location in northern Canada across the Arctic towards Siberia. So when the turtles home in on that pole and migrate, they will hit the beaches before they think they should, causing these higher numbers of strandings, taking them into unfamiliar places. They knew for generations how far north to go based on the magnetic field, but that field is now changing and tricking them into going into new territory. As if the varying unusual mortality events weren't eye-opening signs of the biosphere distress, it's only going to get worse as the magnetic field loss allows more ozone destruction and UV stress to add to the equation. But there is now a concerted effort to quell fear about this ongoing event, and it began right after Berkeley confirmed a study by the USGS suggesting that Earth's magnetic field can flip very rapidly, within a human lifetime in some cases. We are 150 years into this ongoing event, and that puts us squarely in the red zone. But right after that, the heavily CIA-influenced group at MIT tried to toss water on the flames, saying Earth's magnetic field was stronger than it had been in the past, and that meant we didn't have so much to worry about. Well, first of all, they studied 5 million years of data, which is less than 1% of the more than 2 billion years of paleomagnetic data available, which is like studying a dead body and making detailed judgments about the person's entire life. Second, considering the dire implications of a magnetic pole shift, that's like being at the top of this roller coaster and trying to calm people down by telling them how high up they are as they stare down at what's about to happen. And for six years since that MIT report came out, it was that logical concept versus the seemingly untouchable experts at MIT. You can guess who most people believed. Then this happened. The definitive study of a previous period of high geomagnetic strength, just like we have now, and shocker, it didn't matter. When it's time, it's time. The strength of the field during an interval between magnetic events is irrelevant. The field can shift regardless of the overall magnetic field strength. This goes for full cron reversals every few hundred thousand years and for the more regular geomagnetic excursions, which we are definitely in right now. MIT's denial of the risk, which already didn't make sense, is now debunked. The biosphere is already taking hits. And just for your recollection, a reminder about the cycle we're in now. The last several geomagnetic excursions are pretty darn well evenly spaced, occurring about every 12,000 years and accompanied by major climate changes. The younger, driest climate event happened with Gothenburg 12,000 years ago. Lake Mungo geomagnetic excursion also marked the last glacial maximum 24,000 years ago, and perhaps no greater changes can be seen over the last 100,000 years than those that occurred simultaneously with Le Champ 
40-something thousand years ago. Data does vary on the exact timing of that one. We are right on time for the next event and, shocker, the magnetic shift is happening again now. We have already seen one of the primary accelerations where the field was weakening 5% per century at the start to now 5% per decade according to the ESA and where the magnetic poles are speeding up their shift as well. Best guess on timing is the late 2030s to 2040s for the full flip event, but obviously things don't wait to get bad. They're getting rough now and they're going to continue until the next age of Earth begins. When it's time, it's time and it's time. Be safe, everyone. So it should be relatively obvious what I was talking about. One of the very final, after everything else had failed, one of the last things that scientists have tried to do, and it really is basically the last thing they've got in their arsenal in terms of trying desperately to convince you that you don't need to be afraid about Earth's magnetic pole shift. It was the fact that, oh, well, Earth's magnetic field is pretty strong today, you know, much stronger than it used to be. Well, as we saw in that five-minute video from a couple years ago, it, it has no bearing whatsoever. When it's time, it's time. But now, on top of that, we also know that Earth's magnetic field is not so much stronger right now than it used to be. Something went wrong with the previous paleo intensity results. They've got new ones. They confirmed it. End of story. This is why it's really important not to just read a headline, not just, quote, trust the science and trust the experts because they get it wrong a lot of the time. Now, for what we are supposed to be afraid of in terms of Earth's magnetic pole shift, your homework is listed right below the video in the description box. I will see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.